Now, from Into Tomorrow, this is an ITTV special report. Sony and other prominent technology companies are creating a high-speed wireless data transfer for multimedia transfers between our devices. Some pretty cool stuff going on here. Our next guest is the CTO with the Semiconductor and Electronic Solutions Division at Sony Europe and TransferJet Consortium spokesperson Chris Clifton. Welcome into tomorrow. Yeah, it's good to be here, thanks. It's our pleasure. Uh, tell me, first of all, TransferJet. That's kind of a unique thing that gets our attention. Uh, what is TransferJet? Right, well, well, actually, it's a, it's a high-speed wireless uh, transfer technology. So we've all heard of Wi-Fi, we've all heard of Bluetooth. Sure. But imagine something 10 times the speed of Wi-Fi. Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> so instead of it taking kind of, uh, you know, tens of seconds or even minutes to transfer information, imagine being able to transfer something like a 40 minute MPEG-4 movie in 10 seconds. Whoa. It's, it's very high speed. Yeah, and now how does it physically work then between devices? This is something, is it like an app you download on devices to make it happen or? Well, it's, it's got some kind of uh, minimal, minimum hardware in the same way as Wi-Fi or Bluetooth in devices. Okay. But once we've got this hardware in the devices, so for example, these are two prototype uh, products, okay. which are Sony We're Ericsson. Sony Ericsson phones. phones. Yeah. And uh, these have uh, uh, got uh, um <coughs> transferred yet in there. So, so what I can do is I can move content, for example, a video from this phone onto that phone. So all I need to do is press um, an application on my phone. Here, I'm just going to try okay. to show the, the phone a little bit if Oops. we can. Oh, I think I may have messed you no, up. No, no worries. Okay. So you're launching an application that's on the phone Oops. that's yeah. going to launch that. There, there we, we go. go. And again, for those of you who might be driving or otherwise, uh, have no fear. Ah, here we go. You, right. Uh, you can check the okay. video out at your leisure. Okay. So I want to transfer this particular movie okay. to that phone. So I press, and then I press transfer on this phone, and then I take the other phone, and then I want to transfer it to this, and bingo. Oh, the actual file successfully. has okay. gone transmitted <laughs> from this phone to that. And, and that's that was a video? That was a video, and it was about 10 or 20 meg video. And it transferred in about a second and a half. That's so. right. <laughs> so the big advantage of this technology is we don't need to use a memory card to transfer from one device to another. We don't need a USB cable. Mm. Also, in the case of Wi-Fi, it's kind of slow. Uh, and also, interference is a big issue with Wi-Fi, but we can get around all of these problems. Now you were sort of pointing the devices uh, together at a what looks like a button here. It's, it's like right. an, an infrared connection of right. some sort. Right. I mean, that's a good point. I mean, because this uh, technology, you've got to be within two or three centimeters to do a transfer. Okay. So it's, so it's like something like infrared, except this uses uh, wireless technology uh, in the same way as Wi-Fi, but it has to be in close proximity. Uh, because it's in close proximity, just two or three uh, centimeters or an inch, it's pretty secure because you, you, know, you, know, you know, you've got to be right next to the person to transfer it. Right, but so you don't have to worry about your file ending up somewhere it doesn't belong because it literally exactly. is close transferring. Yeah. Exactly, and we don't need all this kind of setup and pairing. It, it's just basically like a connector replacement. Gotcha. And now this is something that this consortium, no, no doubt, that you're working with, is working with many manufacturers to have to install hardware-wise into upcoming mobile uh, devices. Right? Exactly. We formed a, a consortium in 2008. So you can remember the date, well, June 2008. And at that time, there were just a few of us. Now we've grown to 53 members. And all the development of this standard is going on inside the consortium by these 53 companies. Now so and companies yeah. including Sony, Toshiba, Toshiba. Epson, Canon, LG. Pioneer, so yeah, exactly. So yeah. There's some pretty yeah. big companies that have said, we're on board because this is a great technology. Absolutely. I'm assuming it doesn't add a lot of cost to the device? No, it doesn't. Uh, you know, very similar to th you know, things like uh, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or even a kind of memory card, memory card transfer technology. You, you know, it, it's, it's, pre it's pretty cheap. Yeah. Um, and, uh, y you know, I mean, so far there's been around 30, uh, 40 products uh, out there using transferred yet. But it's an open standard I in the same way as kind of Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Anyone can join it. Uh, obviously, there's various uh, uh, standards as part of the company, uh, as part of the consortium. But it's an open uh, standard. Terrific. And how soon before we might see uh, multiple handsets on the market? 
where we'll see transfer jet included or something and give us something else to, to look for. To. Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, so far, most of the products out there are, are Cybershot cameras. Uh, we've got some uh, laptops, also Pioneer. I've got some kind of uh, table, interactive table using transfer jet. What a great thing to, to have a camera full of all these photos or some videos and just get it close to your laptop and say, transfer. Exactly, and just yes. just put them on your machine and not have to worry about getting them off the camera. Oh, where's my cable? I forgot it, whatever. Absolutely, yeah. Wow. So, so, so the whole the kind of key, you know, key point about this technology is simpli simplicity. We don't need to use any cables. We, we yeah. kind of, uh, USB cables go missing. We don't need any kind of complicated pairing or authentication. We can just kind of touch and go. That's yeah. basically the concept. And again, thus the, the, the security of close proximity because you're not having to be pairing other devices and right. hey you want you want this song that I just wrote myself and I want you to hear give me your device next to mine boom you got it absolutely <laughs> and now we're also looking at other applications as well for example kiosk applications imagine you go in, into a kind of a music store or going yeah. into, into a pop uh, concert and then going up to the kind of wall and, and uh, transferring some kind of content some kind of movie uh, or some music um, you know, from that kiosk. So, well, Chris, so we're going to have to follow up with you when we've got more time. I love the concept. Meantime, we want to invite our audience to visit your site, transferjet.org, just like it sounds. Great technology that we can hopefully see on our devices in the very near future, certainly into tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, you, you know, if you go onto the website, it's, it's all there. Yeah. Terrific. Thanks, Dave. My pleasure. And of course, intotomorrow.com, links to all of our guest sites as well. Hit us up at your convenience for all the videos. You'll see the products we're talking about at intotomorrow.com.